The disease-causing contaminants that are present in most water supplies enter our bodies primarily through skin absorption and inhalation, not by drinking it. Water is the foundation of your body, and like any structure, if the foundation is of poor quality, the expectations of good health and longevity will not be fulfilled. Most people never give it a thought. After all, our elected officials keep assuring us that chlorinated tap water is completely safe for human consumption. However, numerous scientific studies now show that chlorinated tap water is linked to a greater incidence of bladder, breast, and bowel cancer, as well as malignant melanoma. One study even links the use of chlorinated tap water to congenital cardiac anomalies. If you want to have a healthier, better quality of life, you have to understand that you must stop the largest number of contaminants from entering your body. And the largest number of contaminants entering your body are in your bath and shower, not by drinking it. One study from the Netherlands, Cornell University, shows that uh, you would actually have to drink water for five years to get the same contaminants into your body, well, in 24 baths, one month of bathing is equal to five years of drinking as far as the contaminants your body takes in. So if you want a healthier quality of life for you and your children, you need to understand what to look for in a water system. There's a lot of water systems out there, and people get so confused they have no idea. In fact, I've seen a lot of things go on in the water business that are not really what I call kosher or honest, put it that way. But the thing is, People, it, get yourself educated. People will research magazines and everything else when they go to buy a new car. And they want a, the best thing out there for, to protect their family driving down the road, get the best gas mileage, the less money spent on it. Okay, So why not do the same research for a water system for your house? Because it doesn't make any sense to be able to afford to buy a house and not have healthy water running through it. doesn't make sense. Don't forget, a hot water heater is a luxury. Yeah. Healthy water is a necessity. And the healthy water, when people buy houses or build houses, is the last thing they think of 98% of the time. Oh, there's a few people out there that you know already know because most of them, uh, that percentage of the people I do business with are usually after the fact. When people get sick, they will spend more money on their health in one year, the last year of their life, then they spend their entire life trying to take care of their self. But what I try to do is make people understand that the children are what I'm aiming at because children are the future of this country and the, of this world. And if we don't teach them how to take care of their self, things are only going to get worse. I mean, we can turn things around when we're older because that's what a lot of my customers are doing but a lot of them are relating the information that they have learned down to their children and grandchildren because they absorb this much faster than us you must understand that children are dying three to one of an adult and right now according to the national foundation for cancer research a woman has a one in three chance of developing cancer in this country and a man has a one in two and a child under two years old has a ten times greater chance of developing cancer than an adult and a child under fifteen has a three times greater chance you know chances of burying your children are pretty great seeing instead of them burying you and that's just the way it is and it's that way because when I was born and older people over 60 were born, we didn't have all these contaminants in the water like we do now. Each year, we're producing more and more and more that get into the air, the soil, and the groundwater. And they all get into your tap water. When you run tests on tap waters in your house, you can test just the chlorine. And that's why I talked about chlorine because it's the easiest thing to test for. But just Google and look around what, what, uh, what they say about chlorine. Chlorine was used in World War I and World War II as a lethal weapon. We used uh, chloroform gas off of it as an anesthetic in early medicine till we found out it caused cancer. And it's in your bath and shower. 
So when you go out there and you're looking for a water system, get serious. Get real serious. These are the things that you want to look for. Not the hype, not all the beautiful stuff and the pretty pictures and all that. You want to know how does it work, what's on the inside of it, what's removing these different things from the water, okay? But you want to know what you want to remove. You want to remove chlorine. You want to remove chlorine trihalomethanes, which are chlorine byproducts. You want to remove chloramines, DBPs. You want to remove heavy metals, okay? And, of course, you know, a lot of them people worry about fluoride, which I understand the big controversy on fluoride. There's a lot of it, and there's definitely proof, and we're going to show you here in a minute one uh, short film that one doctor that used to believe, a dentist that used to believe in fluoride, and once he did his research and found out from all the different studies and scientific studies and doctors, all about what he has to say about it now, which is a total turnaround from what he believed years ago. Okay? If they even used pure fluoride, it's still going to cause pain, tendonitis of the bone, and children get model teeth. But if they, they have chosen to use hydrofluorosilicates acid. Hydrofluorosilicates acid is the most corrosive chemical agent known to man. It's derived from a toxic gas produced in the manufacture of phosphoric acid and phosphate fertilizer. And it contains lead, mercury, and arsenic in high concentrations of radionuclides. And it is also the chemical agent most used for water fluoridation in the United States. Like I say, any question you have, Google it. Read the information for yourself. Make your own decision. But let's face it, folks. More and more and more diseases are being developed and are linked directly to the tap water. I had a customer call me from uh, uh, Louisiana that lost her son. Because, and it was linked directly to a contaminant in the water. I, I see a lot of this stuff. If you just go on EPA.gov and you look up what uh, they allow in the water, just like the deal the show with Tom Brokaw, where they had it on TV. They were showing the contaminants in bottled water and the, uh, the city bottled water, I mean the city tap water and stuff, and... Uh, they were showing all the health effects from it and what it would do to, and it would, could hurt you and all this kind of stuff. But what was really surprised me when it got to the end, well, it didn't really surprise me that much. I kind of knew. But when it got to the end, they said that even though it caused all these health effects and everything else, it still met federal guidelines for drinking water. And remember, you have to drink water for five years to get the same contaminants into your body that you will in, you know, in 24 baths. One month of bathing, if you take a bath every day, is equal to five years of drinking as far as the amount of uh, contaminants your body takes in. That's right. I can't make that any clearer. When you drink from your tap water compared to bathing and showering, you get 60 to 100 times more contaminants into your body from skin absorption and inhalation in your bath and shower than you do by drinking it. So running out and buying bottled water and spending your money on all that kind of stuff and whatever, okay, you're not doing a whole lot of good. You have to stop the largest number of contaminants. There's a basic foundation for health. Stop, number one, stop contaminants from entering your body. And that the largest number is your bath and shower. Secondly is your food, preservatives, dyes, artificial sweeteners, you know, all this kind of stuff. Between those two things right there, if you can eliminate them, watch how much healthier you are. That way, when you go to a health food store and you buy these different uh, uh, vegetables that are grown organically and uh, buy these different herbs and all this stuff that you're spending higher prices for, you don't, you're going to get a better uh, benefit from them. Let's face it. When you get in the shower in the morning, if your body does not have to fight off all these contaminants, you're going to have a stronger immune system. So when you go out into the world and you spend your money wisely trying to buy good, healthy stuff, and uh, you're going to get a benefit, better benefit from it. Why go out there and spend the money on this high-quality organic foods and stuff and keep jumping in the shower and putting contaminants in your body and just ruining what you just spent the money on? Some helps. But let's face it, if you don't have all them contaminants entering your body, 
you don't have to spend as much money. You don't have to buy as many minerals and as many vitamins. You're just going to get a better result. And if you have a disease and you are taking something for that disease, don't you think if you have a stronger immune system, you're going to have a better chance to fight it off? It's done every day. And it amazes me how many people don't know this. A lot of people every day, more and more, are learning it. And the, the difference is, when I go into the ones, the houses that have learned it, that have made the change, that have stopped the contaminants from entering the body, and you look at their skin and stuff, you can see how much healthier they are. Your skin is just, <laughs> is actually the largest organ in your body. It's going to absorb everything. That's why when you go even a woman buying cosmetics and stuff, okay, you've got to better read what's in that cosmetic. You're putting it on your body. Being honest, the only thing I use on my skin is olive oil.